that. Imagine what I said carrying these stones up here. I'm walking this side at the moment, so I thought this was the way to go. This is obviously the outside of the wall. Look at that big round bit there. I wonder if that's been weathered or... Yeah, sometimes you can see this as the wall you would see from the outside. I'll try and get back in there in a minute. Oh, yeah, I left one campsite today, so it's always a little bit unnerving, especially when they mess about, you know, they're joking, but they don't realise it's, uh, you can feel a bit insecure, you're miles from home, and, um, you just want to find somewhere to sleep, and I said, no, oh, we don't know, and, I mean, why didn't I say that at the time? I mean, I would have gone to the other campsite. I might be able to get over the wall in a minute. I'm just going up this bit, going up this way a little bit, and I'll get over it in a minute. You get over it, you can't get back. You don't know if there's a big drop to the other side or anything, do you? Not anything like the Great Wall of China. I did see like a Chinese boat. He's probably thought it was puny. Right, well, one thing I'm not doing, I'm not going down there and then up there. You can walk to Newcastle from here, see? You can see the wall though. That's a good section of it there, look. My campsite's right over there somewhere. Maybe I can get down this way. It's quite good, another good view of the wall. This is um this is on the same film as the one I did this morning at a fort. But this is um, after I've been to the Roman Army Museum and I've come out and Wall Hole it's called. It's near a quarry. Um, this apparently, probably where I'm standing, is the highest point of the whole wall. Probably where I am now is the highest point. I'd say it was here. Right, over and out for a minute. Do some photos. <laughs> 